would suggest <laughs> putting on your things that you would like that you need to do, and then through the process you would maybe discover moments that would make you happy that you want to have. So it could be something that you are always growing with. And so we're actually at the last part, and this is part six. This is quotes, man. <laughs> And I love quotes as I was going through the experience of losing my parents and finding myself. They're so motivating. I felt, I felt like people actually knew what I was going through. And it was so relieving to understand that someone else was walking in my shoes. And I absolutely just loved it. So I'd sit there reading my quote books, dog tagging pages, highlighting pages, taking pictures and never being able to find them again of quotes. So I put some that I enjoy here. Never let your fear decide your fate. The struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. Don't give up. The dream is free. The hustle is sold separately. The secret, I, I love this one, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. So many times you have the idea and you lose motivation to actually follow through with the idea because it creates more challenges than you initially thought. And you think, eh, I tried it, it didn't work, I'm done with it. But something in the back of your mind thinks, keep going, keep going, because once you start, you've already taken another step more than you had before, which is just fantastic. And this is something that I really also connected with, uh, along with all the other quotes. In the end, we only regret the changes we didn't take. And that's one of the reasons I'm here today. My parents passed with a lot of regret because they never did what they wanted to do. Yes, they were happy, but there are so many moments that were taken away from them because of the society they grew up in or because they didn't have enough confidence or willpower to go out there and do what they wanted to do. And I absolutely love them and I'm so thankful that they raised me the way they did. But I get sad to think about how they passed with regrets and never truly living the life that they knew they were capable of living and they would have been rock stars in what they did. So never let regret sit on your mind. If you have a thought, go out there and try it and see how it makes you feel. <coughs> this is my own quote. Uh, that's a Jamba Juice, one sip in, splat it to the ground. You may not be able to control life, but you can control how you react. Apparently I reacted with a Instagram photo and went back and repaid uh, seven dollars for a new Jamba Juice. <laughs> uh, and then maybe there's something you're afraid to say, or somewhere, or someone you're afraid to love, or somewhere you're afraid to go. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt because it matters. And now, the last exercise of the day. You will create your own quote on life, love, setback, excuses, regrets, successes, anything, and we're going to share them. <laughs> <laughs> so take a minute. It can be an original quote. It can be a quote that you've connected with and is someone else's, but just write down something, and we're going to share them. I'll give you two minutes. I can see some great quotes coming out of you, ladies. Maybe another minute, does that sound like a plan? All right, everyone have a quote? 
No, but go. No. I, I'm I like, just stuck. You do? Yeah. Well, uh, everyone ready to listen and then we'll continue sharing? All right. Sounds like a plan. You can start us off. It's not the setback that matters. It's how we meet the challenge and what we learn from it that counts. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Teresa. You're <laughs> quote master. That's good for this. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Mine is like six words. It's, it doesn't matter. It's better to do something than to do nothing. Absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I agree with that completely. <laughs> yes. We're not skipping over anyone today. Um, what Teresa said. <laughs> what Teresa said. We've got to at least add uh, another word in there or something. <laughs> no, no quote? No quote. Okay. Thank you. Um, believe in yourself. Do what makes you happy. Believe in yourself and do what makes you happy. Love it. So very good. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't think of it. Oh, but did you If I may say, love the quotes. Love them. Uh, they don't hold you back, excuses and laziness does. Ooh. Chills right there. Fantastic. They don't hold you back. What was it? Excuses and laziness does. Excuses and laziness. Love Whoa. it. Very nice. Put that up somewhere. <laughs> it's a gold star. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't have I had a feeling. I didn't see that pen hit the notepad. No, because she was working on her to-do list. <laughs> I know what's wrong with her to-do list. And that concludes the presentation. Uh, if you'd like, I have some books that I've enjoyed, uh, that I have found comfort in. Uh, yes, the first one is a shameless plug. It is my book, Juggling Chainsaws, a memoir about surviving grief. So if you'd like, write them down. Um, and just explore whatever. You can take something, as you know, from everything. And that's the beauty of life. So would anyone like to ask any questions? I do. Yes. 